Wallace. And I have Don Holly here with me. Three phases, dressage, cross country, show jump. And you're out on course and something's going wrong or going right. You know how to react to what they're doing. It was built originally to be a schooling facility and so everything's set up very conveniently. Welcome to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros in our studios here in Ocala. Hey, John, how you doing? Oh, it's been a big day. Has it? Yeah. What kind of big day has it been? Just a lot going on. I got back last night late from a clinic. I Where'd you go? I was in Minnesota. I was trying to, I think Briggs said you were in Minnesota. I can't remember. Yep, Minneapolis. It was Seems actually like you, Leslie, and Elise all went for clinics. It's because we spent all our money in New Jersey last yeah. week, so I had to make all the money back this weekend. So how was it? It was a good clinic. I had a great time up at Liz Lund's place in Copeland, mm. uh, or at Copeland Farm. Um, so yeah, I had a good time. But it's uh, anytime you do those clinics, right? You leave Friday afternoon, evening, so you cram in as many rides as you can. Um, and no matter what time the flight is, you always think you can fit in one more horse or lesson than you probably should then you run late to the run airport, late to the airport you, you teach all day Saturday you teach all day Sunday and then inevitably because you're flying back to the East Coast you get home late I think I was in bed by 1 a.m. and I'm like I'm gonna sleep in this morning right and at 7 a.m. the dog started barking because somebody was outside the house and woke everybody in the house including me up and so I've just been going full speed since then well there you go so well, and I mean, we all just got back from Jersey, like you said, right? Yeah. We did the trek to Jersey fresh, which was kind of cool to do. We did all those daily updates. It was fun. I know. You did a good job. Took over Joel's job. Oh, yeah, I'm now bit. the official uh, editor, editor. And, and photographer for the show. Sorry, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> He's so thrilled. <laughs> but it was fun doing that. And, um, you know, I know there are some ups and downs at Jersey. I think we're going to talk about that later. Yep. Um, and also, Elisa had two horses there. She was fifth in the short and 17th in the four long with green horses. And I know you had some disappointment there, and Leslie had a little bit. But um, And Kyle went around with that mare, his first four long. Yeah. So. Yeah, and you know what? Like, my horse, he was, honestly, he was Super. amazing. He was put in his best like dressage test he's ever put in. He was amazing cross country. He didn't get to jog up on... Um, Sunday, but we did have, that was one of the things I did today as I had the vet out to do sort of the first real look at him. Right. How was um, that? And it looks good. Like good. he's got, I, I always find that you're better off just to put the truth out there because people make up stuff. Sure. And it always sounds way worse than reality. Supposedly so, you have three ears. So. Yeah, I do have three ears. Um, no, we, we looked at him today. He's got, the leg looks really good. He had, so we, he had what we thought was probably like a uh, uh, bang from either overreaching or from a bandage, right. something like that. So I was a little bit worried he'd like done a proper tendon, right. and he has not. It looks good. good. That's super news. Um, there's a little bit of tendonitis in there, but there's no holes or anything like that. So you never know. We're only two weeks out from when he initially had the injury. I guess less than that. We're what like 12 days. Right. So we're gonna look at him again in a couple of weeks. But the initial look, he looks really okay, good, and I think we'll be back back in action pretty good. So yeah, so that is good news. Um, well, I know. So uh, yeah, so that was a long day of sitting with the vet and yeah, trying to ride horses in she between. Was at, she was at my farm first, uh -huh. and unfortunately, um, I don't know if Cody's up here. No, Cody's not even on the board. Um, my 18-year-old thoroughbred was developed a little bit of an eye issue. He only has one good eye. He left, lost the left eye last year and competed up to, with Briggs to the three-star. But he developed some kind of irritation before Jersey Fresh, and we were treating it, and when I came back, it was not good. So we took him to Dr. Brooks. He developed an ulcer uh, from fungus and a bacteria. So I'm on a 11, day, 11 times a day schedule with seven medications <sighs> with his lavage That is the worst. In. He's got a blinder on, he can't <clears throat> see, but he's, he's such a sweet horse. I mean, he can see, but he can't see when, when I he's got the cup on. Yeah, if anybody's, on. any of you guys out there, if you haven't dealt it's with a, an it's eye before. awful. Oh. Because you got, I mean, it is a regular schedule. It doesn't matter if it's in the middle of the night. Nope. They still have to have their eye meds. Yep. And, I mean, you get real up close and personal with the horses, and, yeah. and you debate your life choices a lot. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> well, I stick carrots in my, in my pocket. He's so he's 16 by 16 stalls, so he knows his way around. And 
grabs the carrots out while I'm putting the stuff in the lavage. He's just. But you said it's looking good. It's looking good. good. Lisa wants him to go back to see Dr. Casanelli. Wants him to go back to see Dr. Brooks on Wednesday, which is fine with Dr. Clark. But the other interesting thing is Dr. Clark, who is Johnny's cardiologist, simply priceless, um, on AFib, told me the good news on Friday is your horse's eye is looking better. This is when he was at Peterson Smith. The bad news is your horse is in AFib. Ugh. Horses suck. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what? So. Long story short, looks like last year, November, when we were preparing for try on long, right. the horse Cody was doing three star short, was ninth at chat with him, was super, and at Rocking Horse, like three quarters away, just at a roll I top remember. the second yep. row, just stopped. And I was like, that was weird. So we took him home and he had some kind of, we thought it was an infection. I remember, yep. So Lisa so you think now it's that. maybe related to the heart? She thinks he was going, he went into AFib. Oh, this is a downer of a start of the show, man. <laughs> I'm I telling know. you what. Another good part is he's in retirement. We don't have, you can't knock him back in out right. of Right, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't know. I right. mean, and he right. can do whatever he wants at home. He's not going back up the level, so we're good. Well, I'm, I'm glad he's on the men with his eye. And yep, he'll have a, I'm getting a, a good clear, life. I'm getting a clear thing tomorrow. It costs a couple hundred dollars, but right. I'd rather him have that on so he can see. So he can actually see out of his one good eye. <laughs> Instead of being blind all the time. Yeah, um, yeah we don't want him to be a double pirate horse. No. Um, the last bit of depressing news, and then I promise this show is going to take a turn for the, for the better here. I don't here. think it's been all that depressing. We've had good news on yeah, the okay. swing. All right, you're right. All right, maybe it's just me because I haven't had enough sleep. Plus, Max is in the house. Max is here, so that's going to make it really good. Yeah. Um, so there were, over the weekend, though, unfortunately, two horses that died in that's, Australia, that's which, is, which is bad, sad news. Um, one was at Tambourine Equestrian Group, and that was in the CCI one-star national level, so that's like, what, modified, right? Um, and that horse, the rider's fine, um, and hmm. the horse who was known as Bob, he actually had some sort of a cardiovascular incident, so that, I'm assuming, I don't have all the details, but I'm assuming is not jump-related. Jump right. Um, or even if it was, it was a cardiovascular event. The other one was at Naracourt. Oh, Max says I got it right. Thanks, Max. Um, horse trials, that was in the CCI4 short division, so advanced level. And that one, the horse did have a cervical fracture, so I'm assuming there was, I don't know, I'm going to so assume it was probably fence-related. Right. But the rider is fine, thank God. And I know anytime this stuff happens, it's always so sad because, you know, you the horses are out there because we as riders want them to be out there, so I really feel for the rider in that. Um, you know, so having, it would be interesting later to get the news of how, that how yeah, happened, and, and, and it wasn't a frangible pin. Yeah, who knows? Pin. It could have been anything. There's right. certainly there's a lot of fences that you can't have frangible. Right. Sure, so. um, but the good news is the rider's good and good. safe and got released from the hospital, and that's really, you know, I think well, we have to make sure we always keep our priorities straight, that the riders are both in, in good shape. How do we shape. end this segment on an upbeat? Well, we have lots of time left. So we the do. next thing we're gonna do We do is- Talk we, about results. We're gonna talk about results, so- Because I had happy results. I know that you did have happy results. So you were what, at Majestic Oaks? I said Majestic Oaks. And how that go? By the way, Ron and Marissa have done a great job with the footing all around the- um, of course. course, yep. It was aerated and beautiful. I mean, it was really, really nice. Yeah, we had some students there. They said it was a great event. Yeah, it was so, super. And you and were good. You finished third, good. you said? I finished third with Dingo, Ingo Mar, who, uh, you know, had some issues last year when he came back to me, and I, it was also related and just total performance meltdowns. But and you got I, him sorted. I got him sorted. He got sorted out and came back after being from November, I went and did the hunters, I did the jumpers, I just let him be a horse and now he's back and he was super, he scored a 29.3 in dressage and double clear show jump and cross country. Good job, you. Yeah. Um, Briggs had a good go on his too. Sweet, good job Briggs. So also running across the, the pond as they say, uh, yeah. um, I know Aston the Walls did a four short. Oh, how was that? And that was good, so Laura Collette won that on I London that. 52 that and it's kind of- Burning it up. It's fun to read through the list. So you had Laura Collette first, Izzy Taylor second, Tom McEwen third, Piggy March, French, uh, fourth, Sarah Bullimore fifth, and Nicola Wilson sixth. So like, that's a pretty powerful group right there. And they had so many horses running over there because remember they have had a really weird season with COVID. They so had, what about Burley being canceled before you go on to something else real quick? Aren't they going to try to have a five-star? I think they're looking for a place to have a five-star, yeah. Okay, keep going. Um, well, all I was going to say is they have two, I mean, they had two huge four-star divisions. 
Um, I'm sure like, nobody got to compete. I think that. each division had something like 40 or 50 horses. It looks wow. like it was massive. So good job Aston the Walls for getting that done because I'm sure it wasn't easy to have right. a horse trial get pulled off there. And then we also had some results um, out at Galway and uh, Fair Hill um, where they just had a couple intermediate um, yeah. divisions Who going. So Amy Ruth Boren won the intermediate and Daisy Trayford was second. And then Boyd still going at it, was third and fourth um, in that intermediate division, so that was pretty good here at and, Fair Hill. Swing back to Majestic, I know Joe Myers was there with several new horses I hadn't seen, and he was first and second in a couple of divisions. Boom! One horse's name was cool, it was Fern Hill something. Weird, it was a cool name I liked, but anyway, he did uh, really well with the young horses. Cool, and then we had out in California, was it Galway was going on, and the Pride of Puerto Rico, Lauren Billies, uh, yeah. won that intermediate division on her just beautiful horse, who I think Max knows really well and is actually groomed for, right? Yeah. Um, which is Purdy, Castle Larchfield Purdy, that's a great horse. Um, and then you had James Alliston and Gina Economo rounding out the top three there, so. Cool. There was a lot of eventing still going on all over the world, so it was, it, it was a good it weekend will. and everybody's we're doing good. their thing, so. Let's take a break and we're going to be right back with Max Corcoran, president of the USEA and more importantly, our good friend. Want to advertise on the John and Rick show? Contact John at 352-875-8622 or call Rick at 850-879-2649. For a horse owner on the road, your trailer is essential. No one enjoys being stuck on the road. At Horse Trailer Pros, we repair, renovate, and maintain all makes and models of horse trailers. We work directly with your insurance company or manufacturer for warranty repairs and insurance claims. Our state-of-the-art facility provides quick turnaround and friendly customer service. Considering a living quarter conversion, we do those too. Find comfort on the road with Horse Trailer Pros. Call or text 352-804-2131. Horsetrailerpros.com. When it comes time to compete, I demand the best out of my horses and myself. That's why Elemental Fit Lab, the home of CrossFit Antics, is my home gym. Coach Vilma and her team create a fun, welcoming environment for athletes of all levels. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned athlete, Elemental Fit Lab will guide you towards a stronger, healthier version of you. Mention the John and Rick Show to get three free personal training sessions with enrollment. Sweet Dixie South is an equestrian facility built for the lifestyle of eventers of all levels. Whether you are coming to Ocala for the entire season, a week, a month, or a year, this beautiful 160-acre farm is the place to settle in and enjoy your time with horses. They offer a full cross-country course with two water features, banks, ditches, an amazing footing to gallop, a spectacular all-weather footing ring, large grass jumping fields, and dressage rings. Located in the rolling hills of North Marion County in Reddick, Florida, Sweet Dixie South has 100 stalls and numerous paddocks, apartments, a line of camper hookups, washer and dryer amenities, as well as common areas to complete your experience during your stay. Under the ownership of Mike Campbell and the management of Can Do Joe Adams at Top Rail Tech, Sweet Dixie South has transformed into a premier eventing training facility in Florida. Go to www.sweetdixiesouth.com for more information. Hey, Rick here. Do you have a horse suffering from poor performance, anxiety and fear, low appetite, agitation or nervousness? Stressless can help. Stressless, the hot horse remedy, is veterinarian developed, show safe, all natural formula that promotes calmness, focus and mood balance in horses experiencing stress related to training, showing, racing, stall rest and travel. This equine supplement encourages calmness, focus, and mood balance without affecting the motor skills or energy levels of your horse. It promotes a more willing and balanced temperament with no drowsiness or impaired function, resulting in increased focus, a calm mind, and a happier horse and rider. Try Stressless today and see for yourself why we think Stressless is the best hot horse remedy you will find. Check us out at centerlinedistribution.net and on Facebook and Instagram as Stressless Horse Supplement.
Welcome back to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros, and we are here in our Stress Less segment with our good friend, Max Corcoran. Max, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for uh, having me. And this thanks is fun. And thanks for coming in for the Stress Less segment, oh. which is a great product. We're really thrilled that they always um, support, their, have, have supported the show for such a long time. Um, it's something Rick and I use on all of our horses. All of them. Yeah. Have you heard of it? I've heard of it. I have not uh, worked with it because I freelance, and so that's... Um, yeah, you're uh, just yeah. freelancing around. Just freelancing around. You can around. tell those free, the ones that you're working for. Stress less is stress really good. Less. It's, it's a hot horse does it, does it Does it make them stress less? Yes. It does. It's less stress. And, and as I told Lauren, and she called me out on it, it's very, very legal. Well, <laughs> <laughs> see, got you. It's too. real, real legal. It's real, real legal. legal. It's yeah. good stuff. It's good. Good it is stuff. good stuff. So, but hothorseremedy.com. You said, yeah, yeah. No, you've thrown me off. Okay. Right? No, it's no, hot horse supplement. It, we're going to flash it up. Hothorsesupplement.com. I don't know why we yeah. can't seem to get this right. Yeah. It's but it's part of our charm. It makes people listen more. Right, right. Charming. Yeah. It is. Well, I'm going to ask. Yeah, go. So it's been. Like, you were on our show when it was the John and Rick show, like, the first time. I was going to say, isn't it still the John and Rick it show? It is, but it was <laughs> Now the, it's really, it's really, really the, the John and Rick it's show. It's all you guys. You guys even have a light-up sign. Yeah. I know. I mean, it should sort of flash, and, yeah. I mean, you can get beer here, so it's yeah, great. Yeah, it's right. It's like a yeah. little, it's our bar sign. Yeah, it's so, awesome. So since that first airing, I've got to tell you, you've had quite a go. It's been, been kind of interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you took on this job for the USEA. Yes. And you've had to deal with the pandemic. How's that been? Um, it's been interesting for sure. I mean, we had, we've had quite a bit, um, actually. I mean, one of my, unfortunately, one of my first things that I had to deal with was a horse and rider fatality at Rocking Horse. Mm. And that was, um, that was a big deal. But with every bad comes, we've come out of that, as John will tell you, because he's done so much of the work on this. Yep, we've got a morale. lot of good that has come out of that, I yep. think, um, you know, with the frangible technology fundraising and, uh, you know, uh, so many places are now, we, we got to be able to, you know, fundraise to be able to get a lot of the competitions now have um, sponsored uh, frangible sure. jumps and that's continued on. People are now paying for their own at the same time. I know like Terra Nova, who's, which is a brand new competition, all of their jumps that can be frangible are frangible. Right. Um, and that was one of their big things. And so there's that that came out of it. We'll continue to discuss, you know, the MER thing will come out of it. The five rail rules come out of it. Um, just And I think just pure awareness has come, sure. a, come out of it. I think it that's and, the cool thing, isn't yeah. it? That's not to interrupt, but like, yeah. I was thinking this in at Jersey last week is, now the norm is to have frangible tables. Yes. When you walk yeah. a course now, and this is just a little over a year later, when right. you walk a course now and you see a table that's not frangible, you're like, ooh. Yeah. Right? Whereas a year ago, you saw your first frangible table and you're like, eh, well, it's kind of weird looking, but yeah. okay. But I mean, kudos mm -hmm. to the course builders and, they're getting and good the at designers. Building. They're getting really good. I mean, those guys are so great. And they have really taken it on and and have come together and helped each other out and looked at everybody else's design and figured out how to make it better. And I don't know if we have the statistics yet about yeah. activation of them. Do we know how many have been activated in the last year? Or is I, that a statistic I know thing of that- two, but that I, I two, know, I know one know, was like try on and- at Try on and I know there was one at Jersey Fresh. Right, so that's um, at least four that I know of then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and It'd be an interesting thing to know. Yeah, well, be, and yeah. I think they are, we're gonna know. Gonna work that yeah. out. Right, right, yeah. so because I mean, we're so not even really So I know it's already, it's already in place, it. probably saving lives. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, so that's really cool, and then, then the pandemic hit, and that was fun, that was, that was a good time. It's I feel so like of all the stuff you've dealt with this year, though, the pandemic is probably like, the least, I would think, stressful to you, because it's sure. really out of your hands. Oh, yeah, it, it, it is, yeah. you had plantation, too. Okay, right. plantation field. Plantation Field. Please call it Plantation Field. Just all in one Plantation, plantation field. field. Yes. Um, so, yes, that was, um, pandemic obviously was a big one, um, but, you know, the people that are on the Board of Governors, the people that run the um, finance side of things, I've got some unbelievable people. I mean, again, like, uh, you guys have known me, but both been on the board of governors. The people that that yeah, are that yeah. are amateurs or are passionate about our sport that aren't necessarily professionals in our sport that are part of that. They are incredibly smart people that 
can help with all this, the financial part of it. Sure. And obviously it was a pretty big financial hit on the association because we are not, you know, we're not that wealthy. <laughs> no, know? but I and think not the, the PPP, starter fields. you yes. did get the PPP, PPP twice. PPP loan, yep, they got um, the PPP loan. And um, we, the foundation had, um, had we took a, found a loan out from the foundation, which we are, um, you know, I think we did a five dollar surcharge, a COVID right. surcharge, which hopefully we'll be able to pay that off soon. Good. So, um, and numbers, starter numbers are are record high this year so far. So, we're well, really happy. I think there was a pent up demand for sure, and I think people are out and about and doing their thing. So. Well, it should be a sport that people can jump right back into, yeah. right? Because it's outside. Right. Right. It's not. Yeah. In a rink or right. in a gym. Yeah. It's an outside sport. People should for be sure. able to get out there. And yeah. Get it's not that. hockey. It's not a rink. It's a rink. Well, I was no, talking a, about hockey. Rink. Oh, were you? Yes. I was saying it's not a segue. hockey. Yeah, it's hockey. Yeah. Rink. It's a segue. It's not like talking you're about a hockey. Talking about so hockey. My team right here is looking pretty good. My team's looking pretty good too, but they did not win the other day. But I think they play again tonight. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Game two. Right. So. So y'all are big hockey fans. I yeah. Think. Max is a Boston Briggs Bruins fan. Briggs, I'm, what's yours? He's gone. Yeah. Uh, Detroit Red Wings. That's a tough oh, yeah. team to be a fan of. So Ooh. it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, but though my Northeastern women's hockey team, who I played yes, for, yes, who I was cheering for, they were. It was excellent. They made it to the uh, NCAA finals and lost in double overtime to the Wisconsin Badgers. Yes. And this is actually <laughs> this is actually great, Rick, because Max. I didn't even know this was happening because I don't follow NCAA women's hockey much. Um, but it was the finals. It was the finals. And Max was so excited. And actually, Jen said, oh, Max is so excited because this game's on tonight and it's her old school and her friend and blah, blah, blah. So Max texts and is like, oh, you know, this is a great game. Are you guys watching? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm watching. So then I turn it on and I'm watching. <laughs> it was watching, an unbelievable game. And I'm like, oh, my, this is a really good game. And I'm like, don't worry. Normally I cheer for the Badgers, but I'm actually cheering for you. Yeah. And this is on a text with Max and Jen. And Jen calls me out on it and says, no, Max, he's lying to you. He's sitting here right now cheering for the Badgers. And I'm like, <laughs> No, it was Leave such it Jen. It was an unbelievable ah. game. Oh, good job, it was Jen. such a good game, though, and they, the Northeastern lost in double overtime, but it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty great. Yeah. It was a well, pretty that's great good game. Y'all like yeah. things, and so I get it now. You're talking about rink. Will you being in close rink? to yeah. watch? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah, yeah. That was my point with eventing. Yeah, yeah. Is we're outside. We're outside. Yeah. We should be able to. And we get all back. are vaccinated, by the way. Heck yes. yeah, right. man! Everybody, I believe. Get your jab. Yep. And then, yep. to, not to go back in, but I do want your input if you can give it to me okay I'm on the nominating committee right oh this is a big one everybody get ready search I know we're in search and I've been talking to John I've been talking to a lot of people yeah I haven't talked to you no so you don't have to tell me now no uh, you do well this is good TV I'm not gonna put it on I who, who is, is it I don't your have, successor? I don't I do you have do you have do you have five that you're thinking of four three somebody up some uh, Lou how about Leslie, I, Lee Leslie came up with a good one. Um, how about this? What do you think the strengths for the new person yes, coming in need to be? let's go with that. Tell us what you, you think that a good person behind you need to have. I, this is what I have A been sense told. of humor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a That's strong good. liver. Um, um, I don't know. I, it just basically, I mean, I think you have to be pretty open-minded and as you know, Rob Burke has said to me, you know, you basically create what the the job that you want. Um, the association will run with you, with whether you're part of it or not. Um, but whatever your passions are, um, whether it should be a professional rider, I don't know. Um, you know, there are professional riders that have been good, very good presidents. Um, uh, but then I think of someone like Diane Pitts, who is just an amazing yeah. human. But she's sort of in a league of her own because she's just awesome and but not she's just a, a supporter of the sport and right she, but diane was amazing, amazing. I she was a lawyer that helped yeah but so. she was amazing because although like you're saying she wasn't a writer yeah per se she was such an advocate of high performance for sure that yes it felt like yeah she was yeah a writer but they I, have to see I both agree. sides the amateur side and totally. the professional side which i think is is really critical um and to understand to understand the dynamics. all the dynamics of the of the how the USCA and the USCF and and that's something that you know my first year as when I was president elect I turned to Rob Burke and I was like so like seriously tell me how this really all works you know and I didn't really 
get the, I mean, I'm well versed on it now, don't get me wrong, but at, in the very, very beginnings of it all, I was still trying to figure out who was in charge of what and how it all worked and the dynamics and how stuff the like that. Came together. Yeah, because it yeah. is confusing. Well, right. let's take a quick break. I'm going to come back and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, as well as I know you're doing some other stuff as well, helping run some horse shows and things. So I want to get into that a little bit as well. And, so. and a shout out to Betty Ledyard of Stressless. Thanks a lot for supporting us. We will be back. I'm John Holling and this is my wife Jen and we run Holling Eventing out of Willow Run Farm here in Ocala, Florida. We love our Jump for Joy jumps. We are standing in front of one of my favorites which is our Jump for Joy angle brush which we have up on our bank complex so we can prepare the horses for the three days that are coming up and it is very mobile and we can put it anywhere we need to get the horses the questions that they need to see before we go and compete. So we love them for cross country. We also have them in our show jump ring. They're great, you never have to paint them. Maintenance is super easy. And uh, like Jen was saying, the shoulder brush here um, and any of the portable cross country jumps that Chuck for Joy makes are great. They're easy to move around, change the courses, we love them. You can put them in the water jump, you can put them anywhere you want. So if you're looking for some new show jumps, some new cross country jumps, check out Jump for Joy. Hey, Rick here. Do you have a horse suffering from poor performance, anxiety and fear, low appetite, agitation or nervousness? Stressless can help. Stressless, the hot horse remedy, is veterinarian developed, show safe, all natural formula that promotes calmness, focus and mood balance in horses experiencing stress related to training, showing, racing, stall rest and travel. This equine supplement encourages calmness, focus, and mood balance without affecting the motor skills or energy levels of your horse. It promotes a more willing and balanced temperament with no drowsiness or impaired function, resulting in increased focus, a calm mind, and a happier horse and rider. Try Stressless today and see for yourself why we think Stressless is the best hot horse remedy you will find. Check us out at centerlinedistribution.net and on Facebook and Instagram as Stressless Horse Supplement. Welcome to Terranova Equestrian Center. Located in Mayaca City, Florida, just a short drive from some of the nation's top beaches. As a competitor, one of the most important things we look for when planning our competition calendar is the quality of course design and footing for our beloved equine athletes. We are so excited to host our inaugural event, the Event of Terra Nova, this fall. This event was thoughtfully created by some of the most innovative and experienced minds in our sport. The courses are run over gorgeous terrain, and we are proud to offer custom drainage and irrigation throughout all levels of competition. Terra Nova is certainly the gold standard, with six Wordley Martin GGT arenas, and a Captain Mark Phillips designed and Eric Bull built cross country course, complete with frangible technology. We hope to create a special experience for all levels of riders. Whether you're experiencing your first horse show or are a seasoned Olympic athlete, Terra Nova is excited to welcome you. Summit Joint Performance, the injectable joint supplement used by numerous international and Olympic riders, invites you to experience the winning Summit difference. Made of all natural ingredients, Summit increases mobility and comfort. Win your class with Summit Joint Performance. Grant Showalter has over 15 years of equine bodywork and saddle fitting experience. His technique uses manual pressure and stretching to release points of restriction, leading to freer movement, reduce soreness, and restored range of motion. He has a thorough understanding of the importance of a properly fitted saddle. You can quickly identify and correct any balance issues and can adjust your saddle on site. I personally have Grant work on all of my event horses to keep them feeling their best before, during, and after their competitions. Grant is based in Florida year-round, but regularly travels to Georgia, Tennessee, and the surrounding areas. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 484-639-4454.
We're back at the John and Rick Show here at the studios at Horse Trailer Pros. We're still joined by Max. Max, how's it going? <laughs> great. You still surviving our little I'm surviving. studio? I'm surviving. Area. Doing great. great. Yeah. We got a little bit of everything in that first segment. We got yeah. some hockey in. Mm -hmm. One thing we didn't talk about though was I feel like you've been at a lot of the events in the office running things oh, with yeah, Shelly. Your organizing hat. Yeah. So how many how's events that? are you doing and what actually is your role at those events? Well, um, the competitions, a lot of the competitions that I work with Shelly, I am basically whatever Shelly tells me to do. I'm basically Shelly's bitch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, Shelly and I were great together because um, we sort of, we just basically, we each have our strengths. And so we just sort of capitalize on that. And she does her thing and I do my thing. And she's obviously, she's the head cheese. and um, But I don't like to go out on cross country and I'm happy to stay back in the office while dressage and show jumping are going on and she does the other side and we just sort of, it all just sort of works well. She can turn to me and say, I need da 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 and I will get that done or, and she'll be like, um, radio channels, you know, and I'm, but yep, done, you know, and so we'll sort of remind each other to, to do stuff, which is actually That's I also great. noticed with your relationship, if one gets irritated, the other one takes over, the other gets irritated. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good tag team. It is, it is. So, and we were, and she's great, and she's taught me so much. I'm really lucky that. Um, she's terrific to work she's with. She's super, yeah, and, and um, she sort of took me under her wing a couple of years ago and, and has taught me a lot. And um, we joke around sometimes. There are obviously competitions that I organize that she's not part of, and competitions she organizes that I'm not a part of. And then some, every now and then I'm like, um, hi, I'm, I'm phoning a friend, um, you know, and I have a question. <laughs> And then right. she'll do the same thing. She's like, phoning a friend, phoning a friend. I'm like, yes, what do we need? So, um, which Very is cool, great. Very cool, though. Do you, yeah. do you like it? You enjoy I it? I do. I mm -hmm. do. I really do like it. I mean, I still do love grooming, too, and being of in course. the barn. I do love that part of it. But this also, you know, I'm not getting younger. And so this is a good way to uh, figure out what's next and still be a really big part of the sport and all that kind of stuff. So, right. yeah. And I think it's, Im I mean, we can say this as competitors. It's also important that people like you and Shelly are behind the scenes because you know what's going on. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's not that but other we, organizers. We try. Don't. Like, well, no, but it's true. Like, I remember. really well foiled, huh? <laughs> yeah. You, you guys know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, sure we do. <laughs> but, but I think that's right. Because yeah. at Tryon, which was real trying. Yes. Um, there was a lot of stuff with all the rain that they had. Yeah. Yeah. last autumn and I mean you were the one really I think heading up the communication to the riders yes. saying this yeah. is what's going on this yeah. is where you can right. go this is how you get to here this is how you get yeah. to there there was a lot of water and was it was actually to me anyway and maybe I'm a little bit biased because I know you but to yeah. me it was really reassuring hearing it from you as I opposed see, yeah. to just yeah. somebody in the office right but I was like right, okay right. well Max if she's saying this then that's what's going to happen. Yeah, she knows that the horses actually can get through there because right. she's actually had to walk them through there. Right, yeah. exactly. Like yeah. she's yeah. the one who would have to. That's lead something the horse down. I started a couple years ago, at being a groom and I've then organizing a competition, then going back to uh, grooming, and I thought. Um, I don't, we don't really know what the f's going on here, so I started um, like a. Uh, FAQ thing to send out all, to all the grooms so um, you know so the grooms because we also don't go to the rider briefing because we're busy in the barns so everything from where do I get diesel where can I get a cup of coffee in the morning to um, what who's the, who are the stewards when you know do I need to sign up for a jump school and I sort of try to send that out before the competition starts and then I get a, we do a whatsapp group well, thing. Well I was just going to say that's the most amazing yeah. thing that yeah. you guys have done which I hope all the other horse shows are They're starting to do doing, it, yeah. But I don't even know how you do it because I came back at one of, I think it was a try-on event, and I was, I said to my groom, I'm like, so Margaret, when is yeah. whatever it was, when are we doing ring familiarization? And she's like, oh, well, they actually had to move that, and now it's at 3 o'clock over here. And I'm like, Wait, how do you even know? And she's yeah. like, oh, well, I'm getting texts from, from Max. And <laughs> I'm like, why yeah. am I not getting texts? And then I'm like, you know, I don't need texts as long as you get yeah, texts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we do send out a rider's yeah. letter and say, have your groom text Max her phone number. Right. And yeah. so we, and then throughout the weekend, as someone's saying, well, how do you know that one groom talks to the next groom and just keep send the phone number. The so I've got, I got a lot of grooms' phone numbers out there. It, well, and it's great <laughs> Which because is great, yeah. if it you're takes gonna, the stress off of you guys. You yeah. put, they're the manager, yeah, right? Exactly. Like, they're the ones right. in charge. And so as yeah. a rider, for me to be able to go back to the barn and just yeah. 
Margaret and then knows there's questions happening. if there's Marge. not enough. Marge. Yeah, if there's I not enough like no like um, updates and stuff, and they can sort of text and say, you know, we're out of ice. Even then, like we're out of ice. Great. Okay. Well, I can fix that now. Right. You know, but don't don't let me walk down there and find out that we're out of ice and you guys have been needing it. Do you know? Right. So, and then we scream at you. And, well, yeah, that's always yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna scream at me anyway. Hip check into the boards. Right. <laughs> Right. Back to we'll the see. hockey. <laughs> Back hockey. to the hockey. hockey. Um, Smells so yeah, good. Yeah, so what's the next thing coming up for you? So first of all, with Scott, is he still in contention? Still in contention, yep. The horse is, um, his horse is doing, doing well. Touch wood. This is, this is, for those who don't know, this is Max's significant other. husband, yeah, whatever he is. Husband, whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Um, who is yeah. a show jumper for Australia. Yes. So anyway, just so everybody's yeah, up to date. Yeah, yep. So he's, um, he finds out more at the end uh, end of the month, I reckon. Um, the horse had a small injury over the winter, so he hasn't been out competing. Um, but he is due out uh, to st start back next week. Um, so he just has to sort of show. This is his old campaigner. He did right. the show Rio, Yo, yeah, Rio Olympics, and did the World Championships at Tryon, and so he's. And so um, if he goes, will you be going as well? Well, I, lucky, I know with COVID and the well, whole thing. Well, I actually am going to work for Tokyo. I will be there for the month, oh, working perfect. for the Olympics as wow. a technical official. Does that is that like an all you can eat sushi thing? Must be. Sweet. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, so is that so you good. and Shelly? Saki and sushi. She, it, I actually go longer than Shelly because of what they credentialed me for, which is funny because you know, sort of six years in advance or before the Olympics start, they have, they put out credentials. Oh, we're gonna need one person to do this and a person to do that, a person to do this. And so I'm in there through Shelly and Alec Lahore, which is really cool and worked with them um, at a couple of competitions before. And, and Alec is just amazing and a wealth of knowledge and has run so many other things too. So with him, um, they said, you know, can you come with us? And so my credentials, technically, I am the ICE team leader. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so That's I'm great. the ice woman. So of all of yeah. so the Olympics. Again. Yes, exactly. There it's all <laughs> hockey again. It's all about hockey. So I be there I will be there for all because I um that that is their way to get me there to help them with the eventing. Um, but I will also be in charge of ice, but I will get to be there for all three disciplines. And this which is, is like great. ice ice, not immigration customs enforcement. No, right? yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. That's good to know. So not hockey ice, not, not immigration customs ice. And immigration no, ice, ice. Ice in your glass type of ice. No, ice to cool the horses. Cuz I yeah. I understand that Tokyo is going to be hot. It's, um, it is going to be hot. It's going to be, I think the humidity is actually more intense than the heat itself, if that makes sense. So it's the heat mm -hmm. index or whatever, yep. the, the, the thing that looks really phallic. Um, what do, what's the little? I don't know. Um, there's I a just machine. Looked at what's you? this show about? <laughs> no, I'm a, suddenly it's on my <laughs> there's edge a, of my seat. There's a funny thing, and of course, you know, because I, I worked for David O'Connor for a long time. There, it is something like that. And David said we needed to find out the heat index. Does Emily or the, know she's in the house? The um, Nope. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the, the temperature and the dew temperature and the this and the that. And so David said, oh, I've got one of those. And he goes deep into his car and he pulls really? it out. And we're like, David, Put it away. what Weird. is that? And he said, no, 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 it really is the tool. I'm like, we know it's a tool, David. <laughs> but what kind of tool is it? Uh, poor um, David, he would be horrified so, yes. by that, actually. Well, no, he, he thinks it's actually really funny. So um, are you excited? I am really, I am excited. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm feeling really lucky Team. to be able to be part of it. I know it's going to be really bizarre and weird to be at that, you know, during COVID to be at an Olympic Games and to, there's going to be a, it's not going to be a normal situation, sure. but I'm feeling pretty fortunate that I get to have that experience and put that on my resume and I and just think that. it's really cool that of all the Olympics that you've gone to, yeah. this will be the first Olympics that you've gone to that you know you're going. Yeah, that is true. Like, that's <laughs> yeah, got to be pretty exactly. cool. I know. <laughs> you this aren't is, waiting yeah. until the horse is on the plane. No, like, yep, exactly. okay, we're yeah, actually going to go. We're actually going, yeah, and we, you can't turn this around now. Yeah, right, exactly. Right. So are you so. going to learn any Japanese? I should. Yes. To answer your question, yes. Good. I am going to learn some Japanese. Nice. I can't wait. I would so like the to next know, time like, you come on the show, we want some Japanese. Yes. I just know Thai, a cup like of coffee. Sawa D cup, but I don't yeah. know Japanese. Sawa yeah. D cup? Sawa D cup. What's that mean? That means hello. I thought you just said Zizu. I did. <laughs> Sawa D cup. <laughs> <laughs> so what does Sawa D cup mean? Hello. Oh, all right. That's sweet. Okay. Yeah. Don't nice. you say that when you go to the Thai restaurants and eat? I No, I next usually time, say, say Sawa D cup. Don't say Solid D cup. They would probably think that's what I was saying. That's another way to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, listen, Max, I really appreciate you coming. Yeah, in and well, thanks for us. having me. Uh, I know. Fun. I, I know. do it again soon. soon. I do hope that the lightnings, the lightning, and the Bruins meet. 
in the playoffs. Yeah, it could be good, that like they great. did before. Yeah, I have no idea how the whole playoffs thing works. Yeah, I with need to have a look at the whole it. COVID sort of thing because they've changed the way the whole league worked yeah. this year. But um, and with that said, your presidency for the next year is going to be brilliant. I know. Let's and, ho here's hoping, man. Here's I'm halfway through, I think. I yeah, it's only going to get better from here. Fun at Tokyo. Yes, here is to having fun at we'll Tokyo. We'll be right back. We're going to be back with Emily Holmes. Yeah, she's here. Awesome. For a horse owner on the road, your trailer is essential. No one enjoys being stuck on the road. At Horse Trailer Pros, we repair, renovate, and maintain all makes and models of horse trailers. We work directly with your insurance company or manufacturer for warranty repairs and insurance claims. Our state-of-the-art facility provides quick turnaround and friendly customer service. Considering a living quarter conversion, we do those too. Find comfort on the road with Horse Trailer Pros. Call or text 352-804-2131. Horsetrailerpros.com. Hey, Rick here. Do you have a horse suffering from poor performance, anxiety and fear, low appetite, agitation or nervousness? Stressless can help. Stressless, the hot horse remedy, is veterinarian developed, show safe, all natural formula that promotes calmness, focus, and mood balance in horses experiencing stress related to training, showing, racing, stall rest, and travel. This equine supplement encourages calmness, focus, and mood balance without affecting the motor skills or energy levels of your horse. It promotes a more willing and balanced temperament with no drowsiness or impaired function resulting in increased focus, a calm mind, and a happier horse and rider. Try Stressless today and see for yourself why we think Stressless is the best hot horse remedy you will find. Check us out at centerlinedistribution.net and on Facebook and Instagram as Stressless Horse Supplement. Summit Joint Performance, the injectable joint supplement used by numerous international and Olympic riders, invites you to experience the winning Summit difference. Made of all natural ingredients, Summit increases mobility and comfort. Win your class with Summit Joint Performance. Welcome back to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros, and we are now joined by Emily Holmes, who is the event, event organizer, freelancer, does whatever she wants. -er and we're bosom buddies. Person, <laughs> person of the millennia. So Emily, yeah. thanks for joining us. Yeah, no, thank you guys. Um, and I think the thing that I always think of you as, as, in addition to being a friend, is obviously you run the shows down mm -hmm. at the Florida Horse Park. Yep. And try to keep that, that ship you? running. It's good. I it's a lot six a year, well, and then I picked up one in Illinois too. So oh my God. yeah, and I think Fox River Valley. Well, I said she's going up there. Yeah, she said she's I going up. I always need coffee when I read her posts because she's like twenty four seven. I don't sleep. Seven. Yeah. No, oh, I thought you were going to be insulting and be like, they're so incredibly boring. And <laughs> <laughs> I need coffee to keep me motivated. I would have been I'm fine just... with that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's six events at the horse park. Yep. Um, and two of those have advanced, is that right? Yep. And then you have the, the FEI, FEI in April, yep. which is always a load of fun. It was extra fun this year. Yeah, yeah. And so one of the big challenges, which we'll talk about right off the bat, um, so we can move on from it, is the last few events, the biggest challenge down there has been the weather. And because of the weather, then has been those million dollar rings yep. have been flooded yep. so absolutely that has obviously been a thorn in everybody's side and I know I didn't make a lot of friends with <laughs> my reaction to it down there but I think sometimes you got to push a little bit as a Squeaky competitor wheel. and yeah and I you know it's cool I upset people sometimes with that stuff <laughs> um you've gotten better since you've been in your 40s yeah I'm getting angry be like <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. want to hit your feet. I think people might think I was better before. Now you're like <laughs> over the top. It's pretty cool. But, I like it. But the point is the rings, they're not acceptable with the way that they are holding mm -hmm. water. And so I know we were talking a little bit about it, and Jen actually put a post of a little valve, which was funny. In the post, the valve looked about 
that big. It does, but it's about that big. So it's a big giant. I feel better about it because I was laughing when I saw it and I even made a comment on Jen's post where I'm like, oh, seriously? Like, woo woo, you could pick that up at Tractor Supply. But it's it a huge sitting, It was sitting on a two wait, by wait, six. Wait, wait, we've gone through this to this. It's How a big, big is it's that? it's pretty big size. It's pretty good size. So it's yeah. like a three inch valve, probably. It's probably more like five inches. Okay. I mean, it's pretty big. And so they ordered them from the engineer in Germany who designed the Dam and Riso horses system. Right. And um, basically, they're just a valve with a handle on them. And so when the rings flood, the purpose of the new valve is that you can just open the handles, and instead of waiting on the pumps to pump them out, which is what's been taking so long this season. You can just open the valve, and hypothetically speaking, the water just gushes out. And so how many of those valves would they be putting on? Uh, one for every pump. Okay. Yep. So that's a lot of valves. Yeah, that's a lot of valves. You just open yeah. them up, and it should yeah. just drain out. Yep. All right, well. That's the theory. Let's get like it done. Bathtub. So when are those going on? That's a good question. I don't know the answer <laughs> to that one. And who Sooner rather than later. Them? I'm hoping it's before the June horse trials. and. Um, the horse park staff with the help of the guy in Germany. Gotcha. So, so just to be clear and clarify what I've learned about the rings, and you mm -hmm. can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's only fair since, like I said, I did make a big stink about it. Um, the reality is the footing itself it's from good. Martin Collins yeah. is really good it's footing. It's phenomenal. The problem is that the way I the understand those rings are designed, it's like a bathtub. It's a big liner. It's a swimming pool, yeah. Yeah, and then they put mm -hmm. the footing in there and then you fill it up with water. Yeah, and then it's supposed it has, to keep um, it to a correct level, right? Yeah, it has. So it has a big liner in it, like a swimming pool, and then they laid pipes. Like I think it was like every ten inches, pipes with holes in them, and uh, like a French drain. Yep, exactly. And then you know some rock, and then I think it ended up being like eighteen inches of sand, and then footing over it. And so the purpose of you know the pipes and the drains and everything is that you can keep the water at a certain level. Like say it's like forty-six centimeters and you keep the water at that certain level. So when you know it's gonna rain, you dial it down. So when it rains, they pump out. And when you know it's really dry, like lately, you bump it up so the water can rise to the top. Oh, that's so, pretty cool. It, I mean, in theory, they're, I mean, they're genius, especially for Florida, you know, but they've just been running into some troubles with the valves and the person that originally installed the rings did pass away. Right. So it's been difficult getting uh, somebody all of that there. figured out. Right, exactly. And so, so you know, it's funny because Florida gets a deluge of rain in a very short period of time. Or a drought. <laughs> or a drought. But yeah. I think there's a lot of things over the years that I've noticed on footing, like the footing that got put in at Poplar 10, 15 years ago, remember? It was yep. Vaseline based yep. from Europe. Oh, it got so hot. And then yeah. when it got hot, it turned to liquid. Like the old footing at the horse park. Right. Yeah, yeah it was the same, yeah. same, same footing. Stuff. Same yeah. stuff. Yeah. So it's just, I think as we go through this and obviously learning that there's a lot of rain, those pumps and those valves didn't work. Maybe the next time when they yeah. go in Florida. Well, I think part of the issue with all of this stuff is a lot of these rings are designed in Europe. Uh, they have Wardley. Wardley. I, I think the issue is a lot of these rings are designed in Europe where you yeah. have a very different climate to Florida. Right. That's yeah, I agree with that. And yeah. so I know that was the problem with the, the what I call the Vaseline rings, right. like Poplar had and like the Florida Horse Park had, they, they had like a, a oil, rings. like a petroleum I, oil I, in there. They're still footing there. Um, yeah. And they would melt. Yeah. Um, and now that's my only thing with this ring that's in now is I just worry like, is the problem actually the pumps or is it that there's so much rain that comes down so quickly in Florida that maybe it's not designed to deal with that volume of water? I think it might be a little bit of both, but I think with the new valves, it'll be able to deal with the amount of rain that comes down so quickly. Um, that's what I'm, I'm hoping, I'm going right. with. That's right. what we've been told and stuff like that. So I'm hoping, I mean, the footing is so good when it's good. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it is it's, amazing. It's, it's amazing. And, and, and to be fair, like I said, like I put that post out and I know it caused people some problems um, that were installing rings that, you know, were like, wow, we put this footing in. Mm -hmm. It's actually great footing and now people don't it think is it great is. Footing, it's yeah. beautiful footing. It's the way that it's, it's installed. It, that you it's have the to way that it's installed. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so the other things that you have challenges, not just with footing, you have challenges with riders and mm -hmm. owners. And I think John and I are like on the list of being yeah. difficult sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. like top five. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been top five at anything. And if Kyle's going to walk in any minute, then we've got, <laughs> we got, we've got, got the top three of the five. five. Perfect. Who are the other two? Are the other two? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Oh, I don't know. I'm not saying So basically, we're the top three, is what you're saying. 
No, you're not the top three, but you're in the top five. Oh, There's man. a top one, but I'm not. I'll try. Play. I think I, I will work at it and see what one. I can do. I want to okay. be number one. I mean, you're mm, just what? park your trailer and stabling and don't move it. Okay, perfect. Oh. <laughs> see, I, already, I knew that was in my head before they <laughs> That'll even did push it. me over the top. I knew it. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah. let's move on a little bit here. So you're also doing Fox River Valley. Yeah. And so that is an FEI Ooh, competition Fox as well. Valley. It is. Wow. Yeah. Too That's far. like back in my old stomping grounds. Too short, too long. Yeah. I'm really excited about it. I'm nervous because I've never been there, um, but the people, it's a whole new organization this year. The people are so incredibly enthusiastic. Like, yeah, that's it's great. It's the 50th anniversary. They're putting together like gift bags and stuff like that. Like they're really excited about it, which is great because I mean, when you run, I mean, as many as I do at some point, you get to be like an old, like, it's another right. horror show, you know, right. but they run one a year. Sure. And it's so a it's big super excited. exciting to them. So this won't shock you, but I will give you a little advice that the one thing on that piece of property that is so important. Wait. The footing. The footing. You got it. It is really hard ground. Yeah, they have an aerator. Yeah, make sure they use it because they jump uh, they on the grass an and they cross country in the grass, obviously. We talked about, yeah, and we talked about getting our hands on a water truck. Yeah. Um, so, fingers crossed, we can make it better than it has been. Yeah, and I haven't been there in years, but I just know that part of the country. Yeah. That time of year, it gets hard. I have Rob Mobley coming up to build cross country, and he does chat and a bunch of other places, yep. and he's great. So, well, um, good. so a shout out to anybody with a water truck near. Yeah, near Barrington, Illinois. Yeah, yeah. Chicago. It's a big, it's big horse country. There'll be somebody yeah. there. Yeah, there's gotta be a, there's I, gotta be a water truck. And I think we already have our hands on one. We there's a big lake up there, it. I think. And yeah, we'll just pump it out. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And it just, it's a great, it, it is a Really fun event. I went yeah. there a lot as a kid. It's a great group of people. They've got there's a hunt right near there as well. Yep, ex yep, the uh, wing. Yeah, yeah, the um, wing hunt. So it's, it's cool. cool. Yeah. How's your new farm? It's good. Let me tell it's you, great. that barn looks gigantic. It, it's gigantic. The barn's big. Gigantic. Yeah, it's. I think it looks bigger than it actually is because on blueprint it's 132 by sort 40. Sort of like that gauge thing. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. Exactly. It's bigger <laughs> in reality. What size is it? It's 132 by 40. So it's oh, pretty it's, good size, it's, but it's not that big. Right, because I know the O'Connors are looking at building a barn that's 140 by 40, so that's yeah, about the same. Yeah, it's, it's like, like everything with Instagram and Facebook. Makes and it look it's all about angles. so much bigger. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, it's a big barn, but the roof is so tall. I think it's like 18 foot center aisle. Yeah, that way you get the air with the yeah, yeah, and so like I still don't have fans in my barn. Because of the breeze. And they have they have yet to even pick up a sweat. Wow. So, and so um, you're, you're having a bunch of babies born? Yeah, I'm done on full watch. The last two nights, I had my first full nights of sleep since before the international. Oh my gosh. So, oh my yeah. Gosh. You look so spry and happy today. I know, she looks I've ready to go. I've been sleeping. <laughs> That's awesome. I took well, a nap today, it's been great. Well listen, I really appreciate you coming in. Yeah. Um, it was fun to have you, good to hear and catch up on the rings down at the horse park. Yeah. Um, and we'll be sure to have you back again soon if you'll come. Yeah, yep. I'll be here. Uh, and I'll be at the June. Sure. All right. Yeah, me too. Well, I'll sure be at the June event as well. Scale it down. I will be there as well. I'm going to pray for no rain. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Only uh, no rain. Rain on cross country, but not in the rain. There you go. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, that's Perfect. What we got. Perfect. So. All right, well, listen, Emily, thanks so much. Yeah, no, and thank we're you. We're going to be right back with Kyle Carter. Grant Showalter has over 15 years of equine bodywork and saddle fitting experience. His technique uses manual pressure and stretching to release points of restriction, leading to freer movement, reduce soreness, and restored range of motion. He has a thorough understanding of the importance of a properly fitted saddle. He can quickly identify and correct any balance issues and can adjust your saddle on site. I personally have Grant work on all of my event horses to keep them feeling their best before, during, and after their competitions. Grant is based in Florida year-round, but regularly travels to Georgia, Tennessee, and the surrounding areas. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 484-639-4454. Hi, I'm Liz Halliday-Sharp. I'm an international event rider based in Ocala, Florida, and Lexington, Kentucky. We love our Jump for Joy jumps. We're able to take the fillers and portables with us back and forth between our two locations, which is really helpful. And we especially love the cross-country portable fences. We have lots of different ones so that we can bring them between Lexington and Ocala, and we've always got something exciting for the horses to learn and jump over. We love our fences, and we would recommend Jump for Joy to anybody. When it comes time to compete, I demand the best out of my horses and myself. 
That's why Elemental Fit Lab, the home of CrossFit Antics, is my home gym. Coach Vilma and her team create a fun, welcoming environment for athletes of all levels. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned athlete, Elemental Fit Lab will guide you towards a stronger, healthier version of you. Mention the John and Rick Show to get three free personal training sessions with enrollment. Sweet Dixie South is an equestrian facility built for the lifestyle of the vendors of all levels. Whether you are coming to Ocala for the entire season, a week, a month, or a year, this beautiful 160-acre farm is the place to settle in and enjoy your time with horses. They offer a full cross-country course with two water features, banks, ditches, an amazing footing to gallop, a spectacular all-weather footing ring, large grass jumping fields, and dressage rings. Located in the rolling hills of North Marion County in Reddick, Florida, Sweet Dixie South has 100 stalls and numerous paddocks, apartments, a line of camper hookups, washer and dryer amenities, as well as common areas to complete your experience during your stay. Under the ownership of Mike Campbell and the management of Can Do Joe Adams at Top Rail Tech, Sweet Dixie South has transformed into a premier eventing training facility in Florida. Go to www.sweetdixiesouth.com for more information. Welcome back to the John and Rick Show brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros. And we are sitting here poolside with my, I guess you could call him friend, Kyle Carter. Kyle, thanks uh, for taking a minute. I know we just did this whole thing on Facebook for Ride IQ, and I wanted to take the opportunity while I had you here to basically just talk to you about it, sort of what the program is, what the motivation behind it was. So you called me about getting involved with this, which I'm sure you regret at this point. Um, but what what is Ride IQ? Well, first of all, don't think I regretted it now. I regretted it as soon as I called you. But, right. Um, you didn't have many options. Exactly. So what it is is a coaching platform um, for for anybody that is interested in English riding. So we obviously, there's a, there's a lot of eventers involved in it right now um, because that would be my biggest outreach. Um, but we have a, an Olympian that does dressage that uh, is coming on. So, and, so who who is that? Uh, Jackie Brooks. Okay. Um, I've got hopefully Bettina Hoy is going to join us for this, and she's she's excited about it because she's coaching in Australia. And basically, what it what it is is the the concept was brought to me by um, the two other partners in it, and they <clears throat> they discussed about having a coaching. Um, platform and I thought it was great and I was so excited about participating we went through about two meetings and they kept mentioning that they wanted it to be an audio coaching and I was like okay well I just sort of brushed it off thinking about video and the normal platform people use for this and uh, after the third call they were like no no audio we want it to be audio and I, I, I argued with them for a little bit I was like I, I can't I mean you can't coach audio and then um, that night I was laying in bed kind of bothered by it because I couldn't figure out how we were ever going to do this now and sort of thought up how I how it could work and I got up and I wrote some notes at like 2 30 at, at night got up first thing in the morning went out and rode a horse and basically it's directed riding for you and your horse right. so I will you you get on you choose out of the platform warm up skill work um, and it will layer your ride so my warm up might be you might choose John's warm up or Leslie Law's warm up or Jackie's warm up or mine I'd and, choose John's yeah no I mean why wouldn't you right. I mean because that voice is the one you want inside your head yep um, and then true. you put then you just put the skill work you want to do that day if it's something you want to progress with so you can mix and match like yeah. you could use your warm up and my skill work or vice versa. Exactly. Right? And we want people to sample all this stuff because so often you see people get uh, institutionalized in their little program and they that it limits them. And we're trying to create this like, so maybe I have something that actually be useful for you. And then maybe, you know, Leslie's skill work is the one you want. And you, we want them to really sample all this stuff. And we're gonna, we're continuing updating the library with this education platform. And while the writing's going on, it brings people into, it's almost like a, it ends up being a bit like a meditation session. Like I swear that's how it is when I ride it and when I've used other people's um, recordings. And so I, you ride and you go through the whole thing. There's position um, reminders in there, uh, why I'm doing this. And so it's a little bit like a short story every time. So who's doing it? what's going on, how are we doing it, and why are we doing it? And that way you get a little bit better riding quality out of it. So if somebody wants to do this, I know right now it's like all being built out, but eventually 
then this is actually a legitimate question because I don't know. I'm, this is going to be an app on your phone, right? Yeah. So you can load it on your phone, you put your phone on your belt, and you can click the button and run through the lesson while you're riding. Yeah, so period. you see it just cycles it right through. And then at the same time, what we have is we have a, the dressage tests. We're, we're going through all of the dressage tests we can, and we're having someone read them like, well, well not like, while someone's riding, so that if you want to learn your dressage test, instead of having to look at your phone or find someone to read it to you, you can just punch it in, and you start riding, and it runs in the time that someone would ride the test so that you actually can learn the test without, which right. is really useful for me because I am useless at remembering where I'm going. Right. And then we have um, ha tips on how to improve those tests as well that we're putting together with top um, judges and top riders, how to ride the test because so much of that ringmanship stuff is alien to most people, including myself. And so the dressage stuff makes sense to me and that's obvious and then you get into the jumping side of it what's that gonna look like so there's gonna be video um, supplementation for the jumping um, where like a traditional platform would have your you know the grid the exercise the horses going through explaining what we're looking for and everything and then we've got a really cool thing that we're trying right now that I think is gonna be I think we have the solution for making the audio part for the jumping and that's we're gonna have like a, so what we've got is we've got a recording device and camera on the helmet. So tomorrow I'm doing a lesson with uh, Dennis Mitchell and we're gonna record it. And that's gonna be so you can watch Dennis's lesson. And then I'm gonna be have, I have my helmet cam on and it's got recording device. And so I'm gonna talk you through what I'm doing so you can see it from that perspective. So but, you'll be talking during the lesson. Absolutely. Right, okay. And then when you go to ride your horse, you can take my, what is a video and audio file and you can just play it as an audio file so you're walking, you've seen Dennis teach it, you've seen what it Maybe you need like, like some virtual reality goggles. Yeah. And then you can play it and I'd be like, I'm looking through your eyes. That'd be way better. While jumping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, not, we're onto something. We're onto something. We're gonna, yeah. we've, no, you know what, we're quitting everything else. But, and then we also, so that's, so we're gonna have this ability <clears throat> to actually ride through the jumping, which is, which is, was a little bit of a struggle. And remember, this isn't to take over anybody's program at all. This is just to make it easier. So one other thing, if I'm going to a clinic, I'm going to tell people, Hey, can you just watch? There's something I go through at almost every clinic and it's explaining how horses, you know, jump a fence. And I usually, it takes me about 15 minutes. So now this is on the platform and I can say, go to the platform, pull up that lesson, because then I can save at least an hour, hour and a half of every day that I teach and they'll already have that information. Well, and like, I have already seen the benefit of this because like you, right in the winter time, we have so many lessons going on here and I have started using it with some of my students because I'll be out like finishing up a lesson, watching the next lesson warm up and I'm looking at it and I'm like, dude, <laughs> you're not doing anything productive right now. So being able to say to them, hey look, pull up Ride IQ and do warm up number five. Exactly. And do that warm up, please. Because yeah. then you can show up to the ring ready to go. And as much as I'd like to say like, okay, you know, I can work everybody through their warm ups every time, I think it's not realistic, is it? Like mm -hmm. there's, when I've got a lesson every hour and I've got four people in the lesson, which does happen yeah. sometimes, especially in the winter down here, um, you know, you're just trying to like, just do the best job you can and they do have to come warmed up and a little bit like thinking of rider responsibility, they should be able to do a proper warm up. Um, so this seems from what I've seen so far to sort of help through that, which we've, is great. We've done a lot of work with that because I was really, like I wanted it to really work and so we sent it, I did a, a one particular, the first time I really tried it, I did um, for the jumping, I had them do, I did a 15 minute warm up on a horse with some rails that I'd like to do and then I sent it to some riders that rode with me and I just sent them out and I rode out there and the girls, everybody said the same thing, is when they, after about five minutes, whatever they were thinking about that was distracting, they start to actually just focus on what they're doing and so because of that, the horses go well. And So I had them do this warm up and then I just had them show up at the lesson. All the horses went better because of the actual, um, there, was a, there was a progression in the warm up that made right. sense. And it made me warm up the same way when I did it. So it was, a it was a benefit for me just recording it. And then the other thing is, is that we're trying to make sure that like we're gonna we're covering safety issues in there. We're gonna we're gonna interview vets. We're gonna talk about condition. We're gonna talk about today. I did one on uh, a video on horses that pull and run away because I obviously had a lot of those sent to me in my life. And there's ways you can ride through it that 
I don't think most people that ride at the top level have to deal with because they ride nice horses that don't do that or if they oh it's a bit strong and they talk about how they had to work with it well you know I look like a football player so people sent me horses that ran away and so right. if I can get that information out there so that you can do a better job with your horse and your horse is happier I feel like there's a, just a huge success and guiding them so twice a week maybe they use the app and the other day they take a lesson and then they ride on their own they do whatever but it is just going to bring a better quality of riding and, and focus and because of the people we're bringing into the app the one thing I didn't want to do is I did not want to be the coach on the app what I wanted to be is the dean of the Sure. the faculty and I want everybody else in there to be better than me so I can be like oh well you know so basically you wanted to be my boss exactly right. I wanted I to be in charge <laughs> um, but look I think it is a really cool idea because you do get access to the people that you've listed to me the ones you mentioned here but some of the other ones even you haven't mentioned yet are it's an incredible group. huge group yeah it's all it's honestly like to be a part of it is a little bit intimidating to be fair um, but so maybe you guys haven't even gone here yet, but what's this going to cost to do if you subscribe? So it'll be just under thirty dollars a, a month. God, it's cheap. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you, you double it, and we, I want more money. That's what, if we had people <laughs> that, I, that we were I approached about trying it, like some trainers out west, and I told them what the price was. They're like, I'd pay a hundred bucks a month for this. I've had like multiple people yeah. do that, but not on a not on a push, just on a. But what it is, is it's just, and it's going to be a continually growing library. So you are going to see us continue to add things to this that I think is professionals. And that's where I think we're a little bit ahead is we have professionals running the system. And then we have a great tech department. We have a great um, finance department so that the coaches that are involved in are going to be taken care of well so that it's worth participating in. So I think everybody's going to benefit from it. But the big idea is... I want to use this to use the coaches on it to get better sure. as well. And it's already made my performances have edged up this year a little bit in the on the flat and things like that because I've actually started kind of edging this into my into my progression and it just because it makes you be well, there. Well, it's been cool sort of being here on the ground floor and seeing how excited you are about it. Um, like sometimes it's annoying how excited you are about <laughs> it because you just keep texting and calling me how great it is which i know is mostly just because you're trying to get me to actually do my job and record um but it is it is a great idea i one appreciate you letting me be a part of it and two thanks for coming on the show all right thanks for having me I'm rick wallace and i have john holly here with me three phases dressage cross-country show jump and you're out on course and something's going wrong or going right you know how to react to what they're doing built originally to be a schooling facility and so everything's set up very conveniently.